Okay guys, so I'm gonna take you on a tour of the first three drawers in my tower that I have here full of all of my collection of makeup. This is my personal collection and I know I have a lot of stuff but because this is a job for me, I always feel like I need to go to the store obviously and buy all the brand new products for each season. We all know how important it is to always be on trend when it comes to things especially like this. So yes, that's the reason why I have a lot of makeup and everything you're gonna see in this drawer was purchased by me myself my money i bought everything with the exception of maybe like a couple of things which i'll point out to you guys when we get to them i'm gonna do a separate video for my lippy bar and my extra palette bar over here that'll be in another video but for today we're gonna focus on these one two and three drawers so let's get started all right guys so over here i have one two of these cute little color changing light things you can see right there one is on i have both pairs of the only sunglasses i own and then obviously my hello gorgeous and I got that from, I want to say Dollar General. Just gonna warn the people out there with OCD who don't like things that aren't organized. This first drawer is the messiest drawer out of all the drawers. Everything else is very well organized, but this drawer is just a mess. Let's go ahead and open it. And this is basically just my extra lippy drawer. These are the products I don't use as often as the ones over here on my main lippy bar that just sit up here. But I do use these whenever I get the chance to. So in here, I've got some Tarte Lip Surgeon pencils. I got my EOS Lip Balms, Wet n Wild Lip Pencils, NYX Lip Pencils. All of my baby lips are in here, just scattered everywhere. I've got two of the Baby Lips Balm Balls. I've got some Palladio Liquid Lipstick in here. Um, some more Palladio products. This is a high-intensity herbal lip balm. Have not used it yet. Just got a bunch of stuff in here. So yeah, this is just an overspill drawer, if you will, I guess. And then if you go over here, I've got just some extra lip these I have not been used yet at all. So I got some from Absolute New York. I've got two of the CoverGirl Lip Lavas I just recently got into. I did use them twice. I really like them a lot. The colors are absolutely beautiful. I got some uh, Alani Amore Matte Liquid Lip Creams. I've got some Fergie lipsticks. I got some of the Wet n Wild Liquid Lipsticks I just released. This drawer is about to fall the fuck out of this entire tower. I've got some LA Colors Pout Lip Gloss Matte. So you're going to see some of these storage containers in this uh, tower, but the only one that's pink is this one. The rest of them are all either white and or black. And if you're wondering where I got them from, if you're someone who is into makeup and you have a lot of makeup to organize, Dollar Tree is going to be your best bet and your best friend for organization because they have these little containers right here for like three for a dollar, which is incredible because they fit easily in most of these little tower things. So that is the first drawer of lippies. Okay, so the next drawer down is my brow, eyeliner, mascara, and stick formed eyeshadow products drawer. Over here, I have my Profusion Brow Palette, and I absolutely love this so much because it reminds me so much of the Anastasia Brow Kit that all the big influencers got. Look at the format of these powders and tell me this doesn't remind you of the Anastasia Palette. It's incredible. And then over here, I just have a bunch of eyeliners, some from Wet n Wild, some from Palladio, Physicians Formula. I've got some from Maybelline. These are from Hard Candy from a holiday collection they released. And then I have over here, I have all my mascaras. I got Better Than Sex, Aroma Lash Accelerator. These are the color mascaras from Wet n Wild. Um, down here, I have more Wet n Wild. I've got the Revlon Lash Potion Mascara. This is really good mascara. The more Wet n Wild. And then if you dig down a little deeper, we have some from Pure Cosmetic. I've got the Voluminous Original Mascara from L'Oreal that I absolutely love. I've got Roller Lash from Benefit. Um, I've got some They're Real from Benefit. And then some more Wet n Wild ones at the bottom. And this is another Pure Mascara Volume Vixen. And these are all just my pencil formed eyeshadow sticks. So I've got some from L'Oreal, the infallible ones. I've got some of the NYC ones. I've got some Rimmel. I've got some from Master Strokes and Clean Color. Absolutely love these products a lot. I'll do some swatches of these in a later video for you guys. And over here, I just have my eyeshadow primer. So I got some from Palladio, Wet n Wild. This is the Kat Von D one. And I have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And of course, my favorite white eyeshadow base, the NYX eyeshadow base in the shade Blanc. Okay, guys. So now for the last drawer for this video. This is my everyday makeup drawer. So we'll start over here. So this is just my little hair tie area. I'm always losing my hair ties, so I figure I just put them in with my collection because I use them on the regular. And then back here are all my face primers. So I've got the Bare Minerals Prime Time, which is my favorite one right now. Cover FX Illuminating Primer. I've got some samples from Hourglass. I love the Clinique Super Primer. This is a universal primer for all skin types. It's excellent. I've got 
got the baby skin, of course, from Maybelline. I've got some Laura Mercier back here. I've got some hard candy primer. I've got this, what is this, L'Oreal? Yeah, L'Oreal BB cream that sits back here. And then this, this other one from Victoria's Secrets back here. And then these three sticks right here are also from Perfusion. These are the highlighting stick, the contour stick, and the bronzer stick. And they go back here and you see my lashes. I got some from Kiss, some from Ardell. The two palettes I use the most. This is the Studio Makeup On The Go eyeshadow palette. I think this is the warm up one. So oh, beautiful. I love it so, so much. This is the Love Contours All palette. Won't get into that because you guys have seen it a million times on my channel. And then back here, I've got my Wet n Wild contouring palette that is pretty much just a dud. It's all gone. I've used it up. So I've got two little e.l.f. products. This is the Tone Correcting Powder and this is a Translucent Powder for setting makeup. And then we go over here and this is just random like concealers, highlighters. My Fresh Rose Face Mask sits in here. My Moisturizer sits in here from Aloe Pure. Um, I've got some Palladio highlighters. I've got the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This is the LA Girl concealer that everyone talks about that I don't actually like. It's actually pretty bad. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick. I've got some Hard Candy Glamouflage sitting in here. And then this over here is just my under eye setting powder from e.l.f. And then over here, I've got all my foundations. You guys know my Holy Grail foundation is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I've got the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. I've got the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder. I've got of course the wet and wild press powder i just got kat von d locket powder foundation i've got a bare minerals foundation right here uh nyc smooth skin in the shade sunny i love this bronzing powder it's so beautiful of course the butter bronzer that everyone talks about this is the ofra oil control pressed powder that this is my other eyeshadow base this is in the shade skin tone your release uh daily lip nourisher with mango and shea butter this is an excellent lip balm for people with really dry lips i've got this tart product this is the sculptor contouring stick and then I have three of my uh, CoverGirl lip balms that I use every single night sitting right here. And then over here, I've got just some highlighters. I've got the Wet n Wild one, Ofra. And then of course, we have the ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Valley Girl that is my Holy Grail uh, highlighter right now. And then up here, I've got my Maybelline uh, eyeliner. This is the Master Precise Curvy Eyeliner. I don't know if I like it. I haven't used it. They sent it to me. And I don't know if I like it yet. So I'll let you guys know in a future video. I have the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I've got the Tarte Tardis Mascara, which you guys know is a Holy Grail mascara. I've got my lash glue, and I have my favorite Holy Grail uh, bottom lash mascara, which is the Lash Accelerator. I've got my Hikari eyeliner in the shade Raven, which is an excellent creamy eyeliner. And then just my black uh, lash glue. So that's all that sits there. Alrighty, guys. So that concludes part one of this three-part series, which is going to be a look into my entire makeup collection. Part two is going to be the next five drawers. And then part three is going to be over here on my lippy bar and then my palette bar down here. So so if you guys have any questions about any of the products seen in this video, leave those down below as well as any requests. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Bye.